What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to take a look at Need for Speed Unbound here running on the Steam Deck. And this game's actually running pretty well here on the deck and other systems I've been testing on. Definitely better optimized than Need for Speed Heat. And I'm happy to see Criterion back working on Need for Speed. Now, when it came to launching the game on deck, I didn't force any compatibility layers. It just worked fine for me right out of the box, even with the new EA app login that happens there on Steam. So no issues for me with that. Now, when it comes to the settings, we're going to look at a few different settings in this video and kind of talk about where I landed and where I've been playing the game. I've got about three or four hours in the game already, but we're 800p full screen, V-Sync's on for screen tearing. Um, we'll look at FSR too, because we are going to use that in the video. We have presets in the game, low, medium, high, and ultra. We're going to use low and medium uh, in this video. High and ultra, I'm going to kind of stay away from. You can also go into custom settings and work that out how you'd wish individually as well. But we're going to focus on low and medium presets here with FSR on and off. Let's take a look at these settings a little bit. So medium preset, FSR quality. We're going to sit here at around 42 to 45 FPS in this spot. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to medium preset with no FSR. And we'll just drop down a few frames. The FSR gains us three to five FPS in certain scenarios, but that also depends on where we're at in the game because we're very CPU bound and dependent in a lot of areas, but not all areas where certain settings could help more. So it's kind of interesting. Now we go over to the low preset with FSR off and we will gain a few FPS again here. We'll actually kind of go where we were with medium preset with FSR on quality, maybe a couple more frames in there, but I do like the way medium looks a bit better. Now we'll go over here and turn FSR quality on with low and we'll gain a a couple of more FPS, but again, not as much as you would normally gain by messing with the resolution upscaling because in this particular area we're CPU bound and I wanted to purposely show that here uh, in the video. Now let's take off here and go for a drive back to my medium preset with FSR quality, which is kind of where I'm winding up at in this game and having a decent time with it. And here in the city, this is kind of a crushing area. This is a little rougher to run and on purpose. I just want to show kind of some of the worst case scenarios that I'm running into uh, here with the game. Now I'm going to go ahead and cap this at 30 FPS. And for me, as much as I would love to be able to stick 40 FPS with this game, there's just a lot of areas it doesn't want to be able to hold that. And 30 FPS is really clean here in Need for Speed. We'll take a look at that more. Now this is the low preset with FSR quality because I was trying to see in this race in the city if I could get close to my 40 cap that I had set here and I just wasn't able to do it in this particular spot. And I even jumped in and changed the settings to FSR performance which I wouldn't normally use and doesn't usually look very good uh, on the deck here and yeah it's just because we're so CPU bound in this area no matter what I want to do with that we're, I just wasn't able to get you can see right there for one second I got a flat line I got a 40 FPS cap <laughs> um, but not all areas of the game you're going to be able to get that 40 like you can the 30 no matter what you want to do with those settings so going back to medium preset FSR quality during the day here I want to show you Performance is kind of similar here in the open world when it comes to unlocked or if you tried to get 40 FPS going back down to 30 in this uh, same area here in daylight. We are, of course, able to hold a decent 30 just like we can at night in the open world. But there's also something else I want to show you, too, because we've just been looking at in the city and some of the worst case scenarios where we're CPU bound. If you get outside of the city, you can actually get a little less CPU bound here, get more GPU usage. You can see that usage now finally hitting 98 sometimes, 97. And what that means, of course, is our CPU is then able to more keep up with the frames going to the GPU side of this APU, and it flattens out those frame times a lot more. Same thing when we get into a race here outside of the city rather than inside of the city, a little less CPU bound here and there on that APU and you see again better frame times we're not increasing frame rate a lot but better frame times so you know the game's definitely better optimized than Need for Speed Heat was I'm not getting stutter issues or crashes or problems or lag the game feels great to play whether I'm unlocked frame rate most of the time or locked at 30 or even trying to lock at 40 sometimes in areas that'll let me which isn't necessarily all that common but I think 30 FPS medium preset and FSR quality is kind of my personal sweet spot right now, especially on the deck smaller screen since I don't usually play it docked on a bigger screen. But anyways, guys, I hope this gives you a general idea of what you might want to do with the game. I appreciate you coming to watch. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.